Harry Tadler. Yeah. And then I learned to say Harry <laughs> Tadler, your blood yeah. brother. Tadler became a superstar. That give me a different type of hope. And I said, yo, my brother, I want a star, bro. Yeah. Palpatine protection. Mm. <laughs> so. You know what I mean? Makes sense. So how was it like growing up, moving around like um, as a young youth? Well, as a young youth, you know, as a garrison youth, you experience whole heap of thing and you, you, you see a whole heap of thing. You know what I mean? At one point, we done the, we done the dark part, you know, where I do things I'm enough to do. Things I can't even talk about. Yeah. You see me I say? And after losing my brother in 92, kind of put a clarity cloud in front of me. You know what I mean? Give me life a different perspective and for see my godmother, grandmother cry for the first time, kind of shift my soul a little bit different. So I decide to say, you know what? It's either two things. Either I choose to live or I choose to pass on. Yeah. And I choose life. I choose, after so, choose life. Yeah, man. So I start, I start live with my grandmother from then and everything else has been a blessing. You know what I mean? As I say, a garrison youth who we got through all the tough times you can think of, from not having food to going to your bed hungry to, you know, um, things reach so hard where my mother couldn't get to work and, you know, we call it a Jamaica catch. Yeah. You know, catch a friend in the yard and, you know, sometimes the friends will look like she had treat you good and the next minute and I saw it go, you know, you sleep on the ground and you go piece of cardboard this and we intro. But one thing, one thing always instilling on me, no care how hard it is, was love. True. I mean, I appreciate that with my mother more than anything else. If I love my mother for nothing else, I love her for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because sure she always, that. yeah. So if I, if we depend on the ground, I do all away. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I love. And it was, it was joyful in a sense, if you ask me, you know what I mean? Because... Yeah, because you really don't know. It, at some age, certain things don't really affect you. Exactly. Yeah, me just know, say, my, my happy, I'm my, my, yeah. my, with my mother and my brother at the time. Me and Shellan, just me and Shellan at the time, you know, before Patrick start live with we, uh, which is Ari Tadler. Yeah. And then. I learned to say Ari Tadler, your blood brother. Yeah. Brother. And then this lady, they just. Tadler, they just love go to this lady named Junie over our yard. And Tadler end up to start sleep there and end up now I come home. Yeah. You know, mother was cool with that and, you know, June pretty much have a hand in raising toddler. And, you know, fast forward, you know, better days start coming together now. I start living with my grandmother and the late, that lady was just the, the lady who pretty much instilled most of what needs to be instilled in me as a man. You know, because, like I say, my mother instilled love. And for me personally, that is the purest form of living, if you ask me. Because with love, like I say, certain things at the early years not, not really yeah, bother you. Fears. Oh, it will fears it you. not fears me because me have love. As much as me not might not have the food at the time, me have love. So at one point, it was just me, Shellan, and Patrick, and my mother. Boom, get little older now, start living with my grandmother, my mother migrate, my big sister. So come, you want to meet my mother? Boom, meet my mother, take her up. So just me and mums, you know, my brother, you know, moved to the country to live with my auntie and cousin them and him did love country for a man in Sheldon. Yeah. So him ended up migrating to the country. So I just me and Patrick there at Kingston. As you know, you know, Tadla became a superstar. And that gave me a different type of hope. And I said, yo, my brother, I want a star, bro. Yeah. Sometimes I'm in mean, a pre music see me. I'm just happy. My brother is a star. Yeah, that alone. That's it. Yeah. Just, yo, my brother is a star. Yeah, man. So when we used to go to the basketball court, you know, the latest sneakers, them, everybody think me rich. Yeah. But I'm not rich. Mm. Just have a famous brother. We can bring some sneakers. One time, I say, yo, tell you, you don't want to shoes, yeah, man. I said, no, man, you can't take it. Yeah. And I mean that. I'm good with it. You're good with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, my mom's here. You know, these are the earlier days where me is concerned and everybody who would know me at that point knows I'm a fly plane. Yeah, I'm yeah, a man. pilot. Pilot. Yeah. You know, aviation school was a big vibe for me and I do everything to put all of the funds so I can think of. But music has always been a part of me. Yeah, true. As I said, my brother became a star. So I start look to music now, not to be, not professionally, you know, just start 
look to music, you know, in a different way. I always just listen to music, but I start to appreciate it in a different way you now. Boom, fast forward, finish high school, don't have a clue where I go do. You know what? You know what? You know your teens, you know, know where you want to do. The direction are really. Yeah, have some it. people have them plans, I never have none. I just know someone want to fly a plane. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. Music was never on the agenda, say, yo, I'm going to be an artist. Anyway, still a fool around the music. I start, before I finish high school, I used to go by O'Neill, down by Dwayne Park. But I never used to go there because of O'Neill. I used to go there for, to play a game with him brother, Kerry. Yeah. You know, Street Fighter, Martyr, that used to be with Ting. Yeah. So I used to leave school and go there. And During that time, Every time you you know I, f f I play the game or I mean I play a game, you know, I always say there are home melodies. So one day only he said to me, But you can sing man. I said, No, sir. Yeah. Sing my man. Man said, Yeah, you can sing. But me that singing a falsetto at the time, I never know what that what that was. Yeah, yeah. Him just always hear me singing I'm a falsetto and I say, Yo, why you don't try singing on your your talking voice? I said, What do you mean? I say, it's like how your sound talking now. Sing like that. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I'm going to say, yeah. So you must, start, so you must start singing. So O'Neill was the one who pretty much discovered the fact that... You can't sing. Yeah. In a, where, bro, you're singing, but you're not singing. You're re, like you're full, you're yeah, full tone. Yeah, 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 you use this falsetto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, you didn't tell me nothing. You know, say, yeah, man, I, yeah, man, that, I advise that. I said, no, that are just one side. Mm -hmm. Start pay that a little bit more attention, so I start gravitate now to that. Moving forward now, as I said, my brother, they must start scared them was one of the artists, one of the artists dance our group. And one, one, one day, I try to remember if a sovereign, them time the sovereign just opened up and everything. And for whatever reason, I don't know which school I say, Eli Color here. Yeah. And it was pandemonium. The kids them just rush them and them run go hiding at this little store and me I said, but uh, what is a rock star thing this man? Yeah, yeah. That was the first um, spark where me I said, yo, that feel good in and I know me them run yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Can I imagine them? It just look like it feel good. Yeah. They Another night, elephant, no, man, you say. elephant man them say, oh, you know, but it was, it was the group there at the time. Yeah, yeah. Moving forward, one night I got um, a link toddler. A Ken Cut and I did him and Beanie and you know a couple more of the farms in my reason. So me go there like a little bit after eight and I just go link, link my brother and all the vibes and man and my chat till after three in the morning. And I just enjoy the way we enjoy, we enjoy the reasoning, no matter about everything. I say to myself, I saw music nice, bro. I don't want more and be a part of this. That was the night me decided to. I want to be a part of music. Just, so just we, being in the studio? Just, yard. No, studio and yard. it wasn't a studio yard, it was just a yard. Okay. At the time, my well, father... Anyway, artist group of colleagues at studio yard. Exactly. Yeah. My father used to live at Kenkat at the time, and, you know, Tadla always there at the yard. So, I'm going to link Tadla. So, with that reason in there, Scare Them. Scare Them was the, the dance hall group who inspired me, where dance hall group is concerned. You know what I mean? Me always, me grew up and listening to the R&B and gospel. You know, me, me, me fall in love with dance hall after. Mm -hmm. So more time when people will ask me how my sound so when I sing, so just the music was influenced yeah, by. Yeah. You know, R&B. R&B and gospel, that me used to listen. And then I fall in love with dance hall, and then I fall in love with reggae, and bro, you couldn't tell me how no music me for do. So, I found my own little group in my, in my, in my neighbor, Space now, we'll call it VOH, yeah. Voices of Harmony. Voices of <laughs> Harmony. <laughs> yeah, gotcha, you know, gotcha. we do a little thing and I leave high school now and I say, yo, music more and do, you know. Yeah. I mean, I could have do anything else. I could have, could have continue school, I could have got college, I qualify, I have, have all the qualifications for go college. Right. And I say, yo, and music me I could do, you know. Yeah, man. I'm Boom. VOH there for tech on the world. Yeah, man. That me tell myself. Boom. <laughs> no, no, go ahead, VOH. I just a like a community thing and I will have vibes here, man. So, nah, a friend nah. of mine, I love you. 
can't forget Alafia. Oh my God, Alafia. Um, tell me about an in uh, an audition. A group of people was doing an audition, so them looking for talent. Yeah. At the time, I never know that they were looking for a group. Them just looking for talent. So me, I said, all right, me and my group, I go up, they go mash it up. So I tell me, tell, tell me, tell my group, you know, say, yo, we have a we have an audition where we are gonna mash up, you know. Boom, we we'll go. Sing as the group. I said, thank you, and we leave. We we'll go outside, and um, somebody come back in and call me and say, and them say, if I can sing by myself. Yeah. Say, yeah, man, no problem. So I sing by myself. And them say, all right, sounding really good, we give you a call. When my friend was telling me about the audition, I never take it serious. I said, them people, they're not going to really call you back. They're tell you, so they're going to call you back and not call you back. So I really just go for the fun of it. Yeah, just Because she said, for go, yeah. All right, I love you. I go. I go. Later on in the night, I get a call. And the phone was Leon, Robert, and Kevin. Yeah. And them I say, is this correct? I say, yeah. Them I say, them tell me them name, and them I say, yo, them, you know, them did enter the, the competition, the audition thing, and they were looking, they were actually looking for a group, and I was selected. Yeah. So me I say, okay, mad. We we'll talk a little bit, and them I say, if we can link up tomorrow. So it was just me, Kevin, Leon, and Robert, four away. Kevin was, I think Kevin did a live a day to one at the time. Boom. What more? Well, come so boom, I'm a link up upstairs, right at the front of day to one. There's somebody there, I drink, drink a bag juice and I eat a bulla. So Kevin come out and say, Yo, are you named Craig? Mmm. <laughs> so then I laugh off at me, to me there, I can't chew the bulla. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, we meet everybody now. And we start, you know. So how oh, we are going to do this? So we start select little songs where we are going to practice and we get to hear everybody's sound and Kevin explained to me, say, yo, you know, I never really go for the music still, you know, I just carry on and Robert at the audition and Robert being the comedian that to me is just say, yo, we are a group. When them say, yo, we're looking for a group and them just jump up and say, yeah, we are a group. And them say, where the group name? Him just say, Vice Mail. Mm. Just out of 10 years. So. 10 years, yeah. So Kevin get pulled in at the group and I him just carry them at the audition. Yeah. I don't know if him did tell you that part there, but yeah, man, him show me the so and tell me the part. Boom, Kevin a part of the group now. Kevin never have no plans to do music or whatever. So we we, we always say, yo, we turn Kevin in an artist. Boom. The peep, the organizers them see the four of it together and say, yo, this look real nice. You know, some handsome young men and but we need a bass singer though. After yeah. them hear his sound, them I say, you guys sound really good, you know, but we need a bass singer. So we, you know, we start do a little rehearsal and we did have someone in mind, you know, which is O'Neill. So after we done eat lunch, you know, lunch at the time was mackerel and rice, you know, Kevin was the chef. Yeah. So every day we eat mackerel and rice. Yeah. <laughs> every single day. Yeah. So one day we done rehearsal and I say, yo, you know, me have a bass singer. I said, call him then, no? So I called O'Neill, I introduced the idea to O'Neill. I said, yo, bro, you know, say, you know, say, me know one group and we look at bass singer. O'Neill said, you know, I don't to do music right now. I just focus on my business because he had a successful buy and sell business. Like, oh, if you want a fridge or me want a stove, him travel and him buy it and him sell yeah, it, ship it. That was his business and he was doing it really well for himself. But I know O'Neill love music. So I said, I said, I said, you can't, you can't, you can't give your ear still, man. Just come check me out, man. And him said, no. Boom, him hung up, him called me back, and him I said, let me hear on the song. So we sing over the phone. I think we sing. I go, I don't care who you are, where you're from, what you did, as long don't as you. In sync, man. In-sync. Backstreet Boys and them. Them yeah, time that them group they are on the place. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I only was impressed him. I said, what are they? And him come link up. That was Vice Mail. Boom, Vice Mail at five now. Mikey Bennett we went, to, went to Grafton to meet up with Tissa Linton, you know, who was the lady and who put the group together. She and a, a, a friend of hers. Um, I think she named Blair, too. I don't remember her name. And then she see the five of them and she said, now this is Vice Mail. Yeah. 
So big ups to Mikey Bennett, Grafton became our home. So every weekend we're there at the studio. And we rehearse, 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 and we rehearse. You know what I mean? Mikey Bennett will, you know, give in, give his little two cents. I remember one of the things that Mikey Bennett, <laughs> him said I interview him, I'm going to say, Craig and this, and this line. But one of the things that stick with me um, from Mikey said it. Mikey said to us one day, say, yo, if we don't sing some reggae, we're going to dead for hungry, you know. Yeah. Never forget that. I'm always, always talk about that when we do interviews. Why? Because that kind of changed my perspective and how I want to move forward. No, like I said, I was raised on R&B and gospel as a Jamaican. Yeah. And then I fall in love with dan reggae and dance hall after. So my love for reggae grew even more because I said, all right, well, reggae can be my R&B, you know, that used to be my say. It still is today. Reggae is my R&B. When I get a reggae rhythm, I just sing. I do me like a sing Jay Park, you know, a dance hall, because I love dance hall as well. Danny Champagne came into play, you know, and Danny loved the sound, love how we look. Danny loved the songs, them where I sing, where we cover, so to speak. So Danny did a song with us named Remedy. Remedy. Did a whole photo shoot. I don't, yo, I said, yeah. I, I, Kevin, I don't want to always have things in the archive. I don't know if him still have that CD there, but me ask him. With a nice food to see that. We do a photo shoot, you yeah, know, like a photo shoot in a leather. Yeah, man, a silk good, good shirt and back of something. Big photo shoot. Danny Champagne, rest well. Boom. Do up CDs and everything. Danny ensure say all I'm friends them get it and you know, we and Danny end up work on another project. Never done a photo shoot for that one there, but we did another project. Boom. Danny did have to, you know, get some work in. So we and Danny did kind of stop work for a little bit. And we had, you know, go on experience, you know. We start build relationship now, you know, with the Jerry D's. And we used to just do drops and jingles. And the first time, first time Vice May play on the radio, it was never a song. It was a jingle. Yeah, yeah. And may I tell you, we were beyond elated, bro. You would swear. Yeah. We just hear so we sang the number one. Boss, boss. But I'm a voice up on the radio. My right? voice up on the radio, bro. It feels so good. Still feel good up to this day when we hear ourselves. As crazy as that might sound. Yeah. Boom. Moving forward. Danny came back in the picture. Um, Danny came back in the picture when it was just me, Kevin, and Oni. Yeah. Because Leon, Leon decided to go back home. Yeah, man. I must say. <laughs> yeah, so Robert, here. Robert, never tell you same. When him go, when him, when him, when him go in the States, him now go come back. We just get a call, say, yo, Leon are there, you know, so, me not, not look like this, I go work, you know, so, him pretty much go his way. So, me and, me remember me and O'Neill on the phone trying to convince Robert to stay, and him never stay. Mm. Moving forward again, me, Kevin, and O'Neill now, and O'Neill was adamant about auditioning two people now because you know the group have a, we fall in love with the sound of five of five yeah so me i said yeah only lads i go back and forth i said bro if the three we can do it better we love it bro because we are going to audition people now and it feel like we're going to start all over again and look how far we reach already but the three we do it so we, we'll make a we'll make a promise we say all right only give us six months if it don't work as a three in a six months then we'll audition two people I said, I'll be the lead singer. I wasn't the lead singer. Leon was the lead singer. Yeah. So, me put me, this is, this is a task now. I said, yo, we'll make a deal. Give me six months, and if it don't work, you can't audition. So, I pick up the keyboard, and I start practicing just cards, you know? Just cards, not practicing how to play the keyboard. Get familiar with cards, because I know I love harmonies, and I want to be better at it. So I start nurturing my craft now where harmonies is concerned. Not knowing that by playing the piano, it tune, tune my ear in. Yeah, yeah. So I will hear a melody and I know exactly what is missing. I will know if it's the third, the fifth. I can invert it, I can augment it, whatever. So I start, I start, I start seeing music in colors. Musicians will understand that. I start seeing notes in color, so when we hear something, I say, oh, that I read, all right, boom, it need this, it need that. So I find, say, 
Wow. Music nice -y, man. Different love for music all over again. First song we recorded was with Arif Cooper. Rest well. Um a song go, I go, I never really wanna let you go. But I guess that's how life have to go. I never really want you out the door, but I guess that's how the story goes. I never know two people could be so close. In the end, them a ball and one divorce. Boom. O'Neill heard that sound and I said, Oh, that sound, O'Neill. Yeah. Oh, that sound. I said, It sound good, it sound good. I said, Stop, go answer, dog. It bad. I must say, Yeah, bad. Boom. Prime for Time Production. Big up to all of my viewers all over the world. You don't know, big up to all who lock into Pelper Time TV over the years. You don't know, link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit, your wedding, your funeral, party, stage show, photo shoot, you name it. So just check the information on the screen and lock in to Pelper Time TV production. Big up on yourself. Pelpa TV! Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time! Room, 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 room! Pelpa Time Production! Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time Production! The Pelpa TV! For Pelpa Time! It's a Pelpa Time, you know it's that time! Pelpa Time TV! I'm governor representing of a Pelpa Time, you know. Pelpa Time, you know what the thing tough? I win as a Pelpa Time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa Time thing with no coffee! I'm on a Pelpa Time and I represent for you see with Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time right now. Ooh, Pelpa Time. I want to them them. Pelpa Time TV. Pelpa Time. We're down for Pelpa Time Productions. Pelpa Time Production. It does represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa Time TV. Pelpa Time. Yeah, let them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about Pelpa Time. Keep it locked. Time represent for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa. Be a Pelpa TV. Our TV. It's Pelpa Time TV. Cross. Help a time protection. Mm.